faith presents a paradox. If a doctrine can be defended on rational grounds, then it needn't be taken on faith. Money line. That's the money line. But if it yeah. cannot be defended on rational grounds, why should you believe it? I cannot get around that. That, to me, is one of the most important lines in the whole book. I do, let, let me read that again. It's such an important thing. This is page, 50, page 52. If a doctrine can be defended on rational grounds, then it needn't be taken on faith. That seems true to me. I mean, I don't know. If, if my reasoning is an error, tell me if, if that's not correct. Let me know. But if it cannot be defended on rational grounds, why should you believe? Why should you believe something that cannot be defended on rational grounds? I, I, I cannot provide an answer to that question. Now, I can provide... I can provide a non-epistemic answer to that question. I can say, because people will think you're cool. Because if you go, right? Because if you go to this place where other people believe this, you might meet a hot girl. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you, in other words, you can receive some social benefit, or a guy, you meet a, boy, a guy, or you belong to a community, or you receive the trappings of professed belief. But, but epistemologically, I can't, I don't see a way to get around. Why should you believe something? I, I just don't, I don't have an answer. Well, th this is the whole <laughs> no, but that, hold on, Mr. But that's actually, that's actually not true. Because, because how do you know what to believe? How, how would you know what to believe? Let's assume there's a hell. Just like Pascal, let's assume right now. Just fiat, go with me five minutes. There's a hell, okay? This is the basis of, this idea is rooted in old atheism, but also extends into new atheism. There is a hell, it is a real place to exist. If you don't believe that, just believe in five minutes. How do you know the behavior or the actions that will get you there or not? <laughs> There's no way you could possibly know that. How could you possibly know that? In fact, not only could you not possibly know that, but what kind of inconceivable arrogance would take place in a person who claims to know that? The only thing I can think of, again, is that is it, it comes back to the God Center. It's the only thing that I can think of. I want to throw in one more thing. This gets back, this sentence gets back to the idea that there's an incompatibility between faith and reason, which is my, the position that, that I take in most cases. 